family what's up welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here y'all um i'm in south carolina right now we are about to head to uh take our son back to college and i had to drop my husband off to run an errand here and then my son's getting his hair cut before we head on so i said well i gotta use the restroom so let me go into the walmart and Thank y'all so much for all your prayers. I am feeling a lot better. Um, you can tell my voice is a little bit raspy still, but it's in the morning. My voice is usually a little sexy like that. No, I'm just playing in the morning time. So y'all, let's go into the store and see what's going on. I hope that you guys are continuing to prep and get the items that you need for your household. I have a list of things that I am going to have to go to the grocery store next week and get because because I haven't been to the store since probably December 26. Yeah, December 26 or 20. Yeah, December 26, 2021. So, and it's now what, January 8th and happy belated birthday to my sister. Her birthday was January 7th. Um, Y'all, I have, we have gone through a lot of things because I haven't been going to the store. What a blessing it was to have the items that I needed in my home where I didn't need to go out and get anything. My husband did go out and get some orange juice and stuff like that. And then I remembered, hey, you got that frozen juice that, you know, the little ones that come about this big in a container. I had the frozen juice in a container, y'all. And so we started using those and we just did not have to go to the store for anything um, unless he was, you know, getting something for us to eat or whatever, because I wasn't cooking. I made some soup a couple of times, but after that, no, I didn't. Um, but thank y'all so much for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. I'm still healing, um, but I'm feeling so, so much better. Minus the cough every now and then. Um, I think I'm gonna have that, you know, the, I guess it's long haulers or something like that they call it. But y'all stay prepared. Having that stuff, I mean, you're not just having it because um, of the sea that's going around and you know they have the new one now. It's a new variant. <clears throat> well, they combined it. I'll just say like that, they combined it. And it's when you have the flu and COVID at the same time and it's called Florona, or you can call it Flovid. I know, crazy, right? But that's what they're talking about. And that's a, a hit, like a double whammy hit to have COVID and to have the flu at the same time. So let's, you know, stay as safe as we possibly can when we go into these stores, wear our mask. If you, if you can, um, try not to let your guard down because that's what happened to me. I let my guard down around family even though it was only a handful of people, you just never, ever know. So I'm going to the store, take a quick look, um, and then head back to pick my husband and son up so we can go on back down and drop my son off. I'm not ready for him to go because I missed so many days with him because I had to quarantine in my room. But y'all, I'm glad I'm back. I'm so glad I'm back. Yes, I am. So... Like I said, stay vigilant and, you know, with the snow and all this bad weather, get your items you need for your vehicle. I was looking at um, another YouTuber, Renee's Garden, and she got stuck on I-95 in Virginia with the snowstorm, y'all. Let me tell you, having what you need in your vehicle will definitely come in handy, whether it's, you know, snack bars, because they were there for over 12 hours like two days pretty much on the highway just sitting there and y'all can go check her video out i'll try to leave a link to it in the description box shout out to you renee's garden i'm glad you made it through that situation but um yeah having what you need a blanket flashlights water you know because you don't want to be running your car the whole time that you're stuck out there wherever you are so let's go into the store, y'all. But before we do, it really, really helps the channel when you hit that like button. Please, y'all, 
for the love of God, please hit that like button. It means so, so much. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel and become a part of the TBH family. And also go over to my second channel and subscribe to Tommy Bites Life as well. So let's get into the video. So you all, their produce had sections that where they were missing some items some of the items looked a little wilted so if you can grow your own try your best to do that as you can see some of the salad mixes were not available um this is all the bananas that they had this section over here y'all they got this thing right here really small you only have this section with the ground beef then it goes straight into your other cuts of beef They've shortened this owl out. There's usually meat over here, but you see they got fries, tater tots, and things like that over here. They also had a few packages of chicken. They did not have a lot of poultry. And so I haven't been in this store in over a month and I can see that they've shortened their water owl as well. As you can see, they have everything pulled forward with the laundry detergent. There's nothing really behind that first row of items. So they are having a shortage of laundry and cleaning supplies. Also, as you can see, they do have toilet paper and paper towel. However, depending on the brand that you're looking for, they may not have enough of that brand or it at all. Bacon Owl didn't look that bad when it came to the sugars, but when it came to the um, olive oil, vegetable oil, they did have a shortage. Though they have a shortage of the pastas and the spaghetti noodles themselves, those are the cheapest preps you can start with. So if it's something that you can tolerate, you might want to add that to your preps as well. section was kind of hit or miss depending upon what you were looking for so again thank y'all for joining me please don't forget to hit that like it helps the channel so much and subscribe if you have not and i will hopefully see y'all in the next video